Hi, I'm Sean Golden. Welcome back to my channel. I was going to do an articulated micro game changer thing, but that's actually proving to be a little bit more effort than I expected and um, really trying to learn how to do that. So uh, maybe next time. Today I'm going to show you something else. One of my favorite flies for uh, for trout or for, for bass or even for panfish. And uh, it's just a little, not even sure what you'd call it. It's kind of a comparadon, split wing, emerger, foam backed thingy. Yeah, you just have to, to check it out and we'll go on from here. So we'll be starting on a size 14 dry fly hook. In this case, it's this TM Co. TMC 900 BL, which I have had these for decades. Um, it's been a really good hook. It's a barbless hook. I tend to prefer barbless hooks. I have probably mentioned that before. And this fly basically has a just a standard hackle fiber tail, uh, turkey biop body and coastal deer hair wing and then a little bit of a foam indicator so you can see it on the water all right i'm just trying to get my fibers lined up here And we're going to want that tail to be reasonably long. Not super long or anything, but that looks like that'll work. Now, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to give this a try where I'm going to put a wrap underneath the tail that is supposed to make it spread out and on this type of fly I kind of want it sitting low in the water so I don't really want that tail to be making it sit up and I'm just trying to get this body down okay Flatten my thread out. Actually, I'm not going to because I'm about to put my deer hair wing in. So, just standard stacked deer hair. Turn it around the other way. This is coastal deer hair. And you don't want a really long wing. Nor do you really want a really thick wing. And I'm just using standard 70 denier thread here. that here to stay on top of the hook and you're going to want this trimmed as much of an angle as you can because that's where our body is going to be coming from. Oh, we seem to have one rogue hair sticking out. I 
Now, the, probably the biggest challenge of this fly is getting that body to taper in a reasonable fashion because it's a pretty hefty bit of deer hair we've put on here. So I'm just going to kind of try to build a smooth the taper as I can back to the tail. Flatten out my thread. Now hopefully that turkey quill is going to get all these things captured. But we'll do the best we can. Alright, that ought to be good enough. Okay, so now I'm going to be using olive. You can use any color you want. This is just Kind of your standard olive turkey biot. You could use a goose biot, but they tend not to be long enough. So on these on these biots, they have a they have a little notch, and that notch is how you know whether or not you're going to be wrapping with the fuzz exposed or if you're going to be overlapping the fuzz which gives you a smoother body. I want the fuzz so I'm going to tie this in with that notch pointing down and then that'll that means that that fuzz will be on the trailing edge And we'll just have to see how far we can get this. This body's a little thick. Alright, now I'm going to do one turn. And then I'm going to start using my rotary feature. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to want to put just a hair super glue just to give that a little bit of strength. Those buyouts are not the strongest material. All right. So now. Wrap that. Capture that in. Trim that biot out. <laughs> so now we're going to do a little bit of dubbing. Well, first I'm going to prop this hair back up a little bit better. Give me a little bit more. All right, now we're going to be using foam as a, both to split the hair wing and as a strike indicator. 
and we're going to want that to be as much on the top of the hook as we can get it. Alright, now once we've got that tied in, now we'll do the dubbing. And for the dubbing, it's just going to be just a bit of this peacock covered flash. And this might actually be too much dubbing, we'll see. <laughs> that looks like a god awful mess, but it should be fine. And I'm going to put a half hitch in here just to hold this for a minute. So I can do all the manipulation. bit more dubbing than I need. So what we need to do now is separate out this hair wing as close to exactly in half as possible. And then we are going to pull this foam over the top. You're going to need to do a kind of a loose wrap here. You need to keep this as much on the top as you can get it. Yeah, I hate that I captured a couple hairs there, but. that off and you can leave a little bit of a head if you want I'm just going to finish it right over that foam
Not the cleanest head I've ever done. this wing is spread out as I can. That's a fat little fly. Make sure it's as straight as you can get it. It looks pretty straight. Clean up some of this long dubbing. I think that'll work. So that should float forever. And should be as visible. I mean, look how visible that thing is. All right. So, yeah, I mean, it's not the the uh, cleanest, neatest fly to tie, and it is kind of fat, but you know, I like it. I think that, I mean, I've caught a lot of fish on it, and like I said, it floats, it floats forever, and it's as, um, it's an in-the-film fly, so kind of like an emerger or a dun or maybe a spinner whatever you want to think of it as being all right well that's it and if you like this then please subscribe like my channel tell your friends and i'll do more thank you